What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today is a very special day, and you know what that day is? It's the day that I finally found out that it was fall. Even though it's 110 degrees here, it's fall everywhere else. And most of you guys, or at least some of you, the lucky ones anyway, are experiencing cold weather. So we thought we'd take this opportunity to partner up with Mr. Black and give you my five favorite coffee cocktails. Now, if you guys have been watching this channel for any length of time, then you'll know that Mr. Black is my favorite cold brew coffee liqueur, and it's really easy to see why. It's made out of 100% Arabica beans uh, and vodka distilled on site. So the cold brew and the vodka are made in the same place. And then just, they add a little bit of Australian cane sugar just to sweeten it a tad, but all of the amazing flavor comes from the coffee. So that being said, this is amazing. Let's get into making the drinks. First cocktail up is the Vodka Espresso, better known as the Espresso Martini. It was created by a barman in London named Dick Bradsell in the 1980s, and it was purportedly created for a supermodel who sidled up to his bar and said, I want something to wake me up and fuck me up, and this is what he came up with. So the first thing we're gonna do is quarter of an ounce. The recipe calls for simple syrup, but I actually like to use a little bit of cinnamon simple, but you can just use regular simple syrup if you do not want to make this. And then I'm gonna do one ounce of fresh espresso, half an ounce of our Mr. Black coffee liqueur, and then two ounces of vodka, add ice to our tin. And when you shake this, you wanna make sure you shake nice, sharp, short shake so that you get the nice aeration because you want to really want to aerate the uh, espresso to get that good foam. Drain. This garnish comes from the tradition of serving Sambuca and they represent health, happiness, and prosperity. So there it is, the espresso martini. For our next cocktail, we're doing a cold brew Negroni. Uh, I feel a little bit guilty about not being able to do anything for Negroni week this year. So I kind of wanted to throw my hat in the ring with a uh, Negroni variation. So first thing we're gonna do, three quarters of an ounce of uh, Koki Sweet Vermouth, three quarters of an ounce of uh, Grand Classico. If you can't get your hands on Grand Classico, you can absolutely use any other uh, aperitivo bitter that you can get your hands on, including Campari. Half an ounce of Mr. Black Coffee Liqueur. I'm gonna do an ounce and a half of gin. And I picked Sip Smith for this one because I wanted to get something that had a nice, very pronounced juniper bite that would play a contrast against the other flavors. And then we're just gonna take our big rag ice and put it in there and give it a nice stir. Then we're just gonna give it a nice orange twist. So I like to spritz it first and then I'll cut it down for presentation. Stick it in the front there like that. And there it is, the cold brew Negroni. Next cocktail we're doing is called a Café con Leche Flip. It was created by Sam Ross of Milk and Honey. And uh, I'm just super excited to be able to do fall cocktails now since we're going into the fall. And this is the falliest of all fall cocktails I could think of. Let's get into it. First thing we're gonna do is half an ounce of heavy cream, three quarters of an ounce of simple syrup, you could dial that down to half an ounce if you want to. We're gonna separate our yolk from our white. And we're actually gonna put the white in this glass. We're only using the yolk in this cocktail. And then we're gonna do one ounce of blackstrap rum and one ounce of our Mr. Black. We're gonna marry our cocktail into our egg and give it a nice, hard, dry shake. You wanna dry shake it because you're combining everything and you're gonna emulsify the egg yolk a little bit. Egg yolk doesn't emulsify as much as egg white does, but it does get a creamy texture and so you still wanna do that dry shake. And then we're gonna shake with one big piece of ice. It's nice and tempered so we don't have to let it sit. And then we're just gonna give it a nice strain and then just a little nutmeg on top. And there you have it, the Café con Leche Flip. For our next cocktail, we're doing a, an original of mine called a Black Irish. This is a cocktail that I created for a Mr. Black uh, cocktail menu that we did at Kohl's. And one of the very last menus that I worked on 
uh, before Kohl's shut down. So it is near and dear to my heart. First thing we're gonna do is just a couple dashes of Angostura bitters, half an ounce of Carpano Antica, half an ounce of Mr. Black, and two ounces of Irish whiskey. Uh, if you can swing a pot still Irish whiskey, it will sing in this cocktail. But uh, if you want to sub out for something like Bushmills or Jameson, they work equally as, as well in this drink. Give it a nice stir. And then strain it into our glass. And cut just like a nice disc of orange, like so. It's gonna have a little pip on the back. And then we're gonna take a match. If you have a torch, you can use that too. And then we just stick it on in there. And there it is, the Black Irish. And for the next one, we're doing something very special for you guys. This is a cocktail that I created specifically for this video, and I call it an afternoon delight. So first thing we're gonna do is just put our ice into our glass. I think that's a good first step. The best way to juice lime is to juice it fresh. And the reason why is because when you squeeze it down, you get all those oils from the peel. Here we go. Half an ounce of lime juice, three dashes of uh, Scrappy's Firewater Bitters, a half an ounce of uh, cola syrup that I made with Coca-Cola reduction and a little cinnamon. Recipe is below. A smidge of a quarter of an ounce of ginger syrup, three quarters of an ounce of Mr. Black, one ounce of cold espresso, and an ounce and a half of mezcal. Add ice to our tin. Again, we're gonna do that nice, rapid, short, hard shape to airy. Double strain it into our glass. And then we're just gonna add a nice little sprig of mint. There it is, the afternoon delight. So there you have it, my five favorite coffee cocktails featuring Mr. Black cold brew coffee liqueur. If you wanna know more about Mr. Black, check the link below to their website. And if you like our channel, please hit like and subscribe. Check us out on YouTube and Patreon memberships. We've got some cool things going on there. Check out our t-shirts at Teespring. And if you wanna take part in our virtual bottle program and help out the show a little bit, go to theeducatedbarfly.com and I'll see you guys on another time.